Money is a matter of functions for a measure, a unit, a standard, a store. Oh, hello there. I was looking for a pen, but my bag is full of stuff. Let me clear it. Okay, some old receipts. Old movie tickets. Some tissue. I don't need them. What else do I have? Money. Can I throw it like the other stuffs which are also made of paper? I need it. So do you. Why? Because money has value. So today's topic is a very important one. Money. Let's do this. We will think and list down why money is important for us. First of all, money or paper currency has value. It is not just a piece of paper. We can buy any good or service using money. So it acts as a medium of exchange. And we also know that everyone accepts payment in terms of money. We can go to any corner of India and make payment using Indian currency. So money has general acceptability. How do we say a particular product is of higher value than the others? How do we measure value? We look at the price. A product with a higher price is of higher value. So we are using money as a measuring rod. Values of all goods and services can be easily expressed in a single unit called money. So money is acting as a unit of account or measure of value. Money has value. So when we are storing money, we are storing value. I think many of you must have read treasure hunt stories. Interesting, isn't it? But have you ever thought of this question? How it was possible to store money mostly in the form of coins made of precious metal for such a long time? Because of its durability. What else can we think of? Money is durable as well as portable. We can easily carry money with us. Money does not easily change form and can be used for a long period of time. If you are using a perishable item like an apple as money, it will become useless when it spoils. But money can be stored easily. Do you like shopping online? When you are purchasing any item online, there is an option of cash on delivery. That means you are making a payment when you are receiving the product, which is a future payment. Have you ever been in a situation when the delivery person is not accepting cash? The person will definitely accept payment in terms of money because money generally maintains a constant value and is a standard of deferred payment. That means a payment which is made sometime in the future. Have you noticed we have listed down important functions of money which can be summarized as follows. Money is a matter of functions for a measure, a unit, a standard, a store. What is the next thing that we need to do? We will recap the meaning and functions of money. Money in simple terms is a medium of exchange. It is the medium in which prices and values are expressed. It circulates from person to person and country to country, facilitating trade and it is the principal measure of wealth. Money serves four basic functions, a medium of exchange, a unit of account or measure of value, a store of value, and a standard of default payment. Functions of money can be divided into primary functions and secondary functions. Two primary functions of money are, money is used as a medium of exchange and it is a measure of value. Money performs two secondary functions. It is a standard of default payment and a store of value. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Until we meet again, take care and happy learning.